they should be starting CT, I'd imagine. Uh, but again, the, the one person that I think bails them out when the struggle for like consistency and the calling is, is there is that uh, you have a high impact. You have a high amount of like entry prowess from Lukowski, and again, that's like your big game plan. That's like your big, you know, when, when you need a bailout, when you need someone to lift you across the finish line here for Flux, so that's usually who they call upon here. I don't hate that idea. I don't hate that, uh, that prospect, but... Uh, you know, I feel like this team needs more of a well-rounded, like, approach to some of these T-sides sometimes. And uh, I feel like they've had a lot of time to discover that here. And especially when, like, pressure is applied, sometimes you, you don't see that same sort of format of Lukowski. So we'll see if uh, that, that comes through. Because this is a bit of a high-pressure game when you talk about just building up confidence here. If you're Fluxo, you want to be able to show that, you know, Imperial, they, they had some good land runs, but we can still keep up you know, a, a good sense of competition here versus this squad. I think it's also big in the sense that this record they have right now is very daunting. 14 and 4. This is one of those games that's going to tell you how, how legitimate that score is. If you go and get blown out by Imperial in both best of ones, you might just be SOL. It might be one of those kind of fraudulent records that almost leads you to be... Um, to be underdogs in one of your first playoff games. So I think it's it's important they're competitive, not only for their team's future, but for this event in general. Yeah, 100%. That's where the, the pressure is going to start to arrive. That's going to be where you really do get tested. So facing up against some of these top dogs is going to be a good test there. And Phelps quickly puts one to rest. Right? Nice little opening duel closed out. And now we've got a crossfire here. VSM and Lukowski. Tasked with holding off this A side entirely. The Kelsey swings for the fences here. Gets one in a second with the duelies already. It's still going to be the A side vulnerable. He's running out of ammo. Only three bullets left. Oh! The Loretta's with a one tap out of his duelies. He can't reload. Only two shots left. And he's going to get overwhelmed. He talked about needing to see impact. That's exactly what he's just given. And he's given Decency a chance at a 1v2. Plants could guarantee, but he failed the next problem. Swinging around. Nice head shot. Second scene. He got 8 HP. Play with my boy. That's it. Headshot or bust. He swings out wide. Good damage on the first couple. Now we're about even oh Stevens. God. And as he continues to go in, K just isn't ready. A 1v2 to kick off Imperial's run. Okay. What a start right there. A save by Decenty out of the gates. And just a missed opportunity right there to capitalize with Kelsey delivering that impact out of the gates. You see some of the sick mechanics that he's able to bring to the table. Even when he realizes that he can't reload his dual Bredas in time. He gives it a little bit of a go, but he buys so much time for his teammates to rotate in. I mean, realistically, they're dealing with very little on that A side once that opening duel goes awry. The Kelsey almost bails him out, but it's just not enough in the clutch. Up against these new guys on the block here, the new exciting decent T stepping up here in round one. Well, not stepping forward anywhere here. Instead, it's just a passive hold as he awaits his enemies to approach him through the apartments. Luxo, though, granted with some say rather eager map control don't seem to press to try and move further instead it's the mac 10's job to make entries happen it be and lakowski is happy to pluck no way out of the server and he didn't move i'm gonna say you gotta start to ask yourself <laughs> is this a game of damage control or is this really maybe not as free as initially expected you've got a little damage on henny which isn't gonna matter much but that deagle of lakowski has me a little nervous and vsm gets an extra spot on Vinny. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd have a little bit more confidence here right now if it, if it was a better purchase, if they were bringing more to the table right now, but it's just not oh a God. lot. VSM is getting a lot of info here, tussling with these dudes. The end goal okay. is going to be towards that B side, and eventually Decent he does deal with some of the pressure. Hesitation lessens here as they make their move on in towards that B bomb site, and reality just starts to set in. Don't have to do too much damage control, only that one casualty, no way. Catching a stray deagle there from Lakalzi, but no more rolling on through. I'm surprised to see a motion for a save already. I mean, you didn't buy here, right? So, like, you, you can only really stand to benefit from going for maybe an extra kill or two, maybe find a gun. I think that's why he's changed his mind and actually retreating through CT spawn. One alarming thing, though, is that there's only currently one man on the site. It's Henny, and, and to deal with a long-range duel... Is a little alarming on a Mac 10, however. Doesn't seem like they've left themselves enough time to cause a ruckus out of that. Still, I'm I'm a little intrigued as to why this Deagle is getting brought to the next for Lakowski. 
I think risk rewards certainly favored him going for an extra weapon like an SMG or a rifle. But the outcome of the round does not shift whatsoever because of it. Still 2 0 start for Imperial. And even though there was a worrying part at the beginning, it seems they've covered it up pretty nicely. Yeah, we're, we're min-maxing this game to the T here on Inferno. That's that's my uh, biggest gripe with it sometimes, is I see those sort of saves, and I'm like, just just why? I think, like you said, the risk-reward factor is always there. If you land one kill, you take at least $1,000 out of the pocket and the gun right. value. But uh, all that being considered, we still get that gun round rolling out pretty quickly. Quick jump spot from Lakowski stuck between flames right now. He's actually encapsulated here. In boiler for now. Oh, oh my goodness. Dude, K is not fighting here. Just be, what, free car control? Pretty much guaranteed. And Benny's leading. That feels like it's something shocking. He's going in a lot with this UMP, and I like the confidence, but maybe as a whole, the team is getting a little too over eager as he seems he gives himself up in the apartment. But the rifle's gone. Something worth noting is VSM. Not only holds on to the map control, but gets info on a second player's presence and alt behind it. That's good info here. They're looking for more. This is a lot of confidence out of Fluxo. And the info gathering mission here is heavy, though. He should have been heard making these moves. Definitely heard now. He's got to be careful. Oh! Oh! Utility out. That makes the job easy for Phelps. And a free reply now. We're back to a 4v4. And we see a massive gamble on the map Dude. right now here for Fluxo. There's three players leaning over towards this B side. And if the bomb heads over towards A, the, the pressure is going to be entirely on VSM's shoulder to hold off. This, this might be a split. Here's the problem right now. The fact is Imperial maintain control of the entire map as it stands. Fluxo have no idea where they want to go right now. Their only hope in this round is VSM doing something miracle-esque from Pit. And right now, the only thing helping him is a smoke thrown by his... Oh, I thought it was his teammate, but no, it's just him himself. And as soon as it fades, all hell breaks loose. He said it earlier, it was a gamble from Fluxo, and they're leaning in the wrong direction. They put it all on red. Seems like they've spun up black. It's tough here. VSM holds that line, immediately takes nice. care of the first. He's got to find a whole lot more than that. Ooh. The trade comes through quickly, and now comes through that A-side retake effort here. Just enough time for that bomb plant. And again, how interested are Fluxo for their first gun round to go for this? You've got Che on no HP, you've got no utility, and you've got no kits. So the choice is sure is if you want to go for this. And I think wow. I know their answer. Problem was how, re how frequent or less recent that smoke was, right? That was up before they could even think to come back into the site. So you're killing 10 seconds there before you can even think to move back in. You can't set up. You can't really do much. So it's really just not a big world that things go your way for Fluxo. I get it, but... That feels like it's such a, a hard round to decipher because you get that first kill, all the control in the world toward the apartments. And I think it's just a little overzealousness from a few individuals on Fluxo. You said it yourself, Zevi had to be careful in Boiler. He wasn't, seemed very haphazard. The kill was essentially handed to Phelps. And from there, it's it's just a disaster waiting to happen. Really no map control around the board when Zevi starts his retreat. They've given up brackets, apartments, banana. They have almost no counter utility. Destined from failure after that four on five. Yeah, that is a bit of a shock there. It feels like Zevi playing a little lackadaisical on the A side right now. I think when they took down TCT, they were getting a whole lot more confident, but already Nade oh, Stacks land a kill this time. Lukowski trying to save this oh, round, but he just sends one straight through the smoke. And there is a two man advantage now with so little control again. Do they know about what they do? And no, he's really being distracted. Maybe a swing comes through, good trade, but he's stuck. And there's a lot of damage inducing utility lying in wait on the ground, but instead they just dump the flash and get out. It's all unconfirmed on Che. But it's still going to create a massive disparity between the two remaining. VSM, does he want to stick around and try to contest in a potential one on three? Or do you just end up calling it a save again? Well, now you're locked in. There is no second guessing. It's stuck in the middle of the box. He's not cleared by Phelps. So an opportunity emerges, but only for so long until Decency closes the window right on his fingers. Should be 4-0. Unless Che's going to attempt a 1v2 on 16 health, which seems unwise. Yeah, he knows better than that. <laughs> he gave it a little bit of a peek. See there. See if he wanted to make it happen. But of course, incredibly difficult retakes, especially when it's on the A side, and especially when you have no health. And Fluxo try and turn up the gas there. They, they try and turn up the heat a little bit. And they just get 
sideswiped here. Imperial's protocols to handle this CT side proactivity are well versed, especially when you've got Vinny just sniping one out through the smoke like that, and then nades to land the opening duel and so much damage on a Che. It just doesn't leave you with a lot of good options here. I mean, we've seen a healthy mix of both here. Fluxo have tried to play slow defaults. You know, let the... Let this Imperial squad works some map control and, and try and bait out their utility. We've also seen them now try and pick up the pace and neither one of them really working so far very well. Both of them have required VSM to hold monstrously on the A side. I want to see this team with an op in their hands. Feels like that's the next step for Fluxo in trying to change the current course of history. But half five comes through, nothing too outlandish here. Okay, peeking in banana. This kind of worked uh, intermittently still far this game. Sometimes they've been the ones doing the damage, sometimes it's the inverse here. It's just more of the same Imperial fielding map control that it doesn't seem Fluxo can contest against. They do have utility on B, but I'd imagine they're looking to save that for post plan, sir. Maybe not. Flash is set up for Che, who gets ready to go in. The SM's already got the entry. This might be pushing it a little bit, and a couple of kills come back right when he didn't want them to. Vinny, Decency, No Way, Henny, everybody getting activated, and from the opening pit going Fluxo's way, everything else goes for Imperial. Oh my god, how quickly it turns. Right there. They do get a little active. They do get a little aggressive. Find some of that success over towards apartments in that CG side aggression. They find a little gap in the default, but for only so long, Imperial quickly fill up those holes. Patchwork done on the fly, handling the aggression. And like you said here, the only next logical uh, step in progression is to finally see an AWP out for Zevi and see if he can be a difference maker right now on the CT side. This is they don't seem to split on the pace whatsoever. I was gonna say, they are just run it straight up. Fluxo so have to find some way to counter this. And that is the way, right? Double nade, Molly, they just don't care. And look at how much utility Imperial have now burned from the belts of Fluxo. And look at the rebuttal. Letting the fire burn, letting Imperial set themselves up. Flash back in, you're doomed to lose the opening pick. And it seems like that might be the case, but Che gets away with robbery. A little setup there from PKL, it seems, and he just nails two to the wall, so... A little relief here out of your rifler. Che delivers a man advantage here. He does go down quickly in the response, but takes two down with him and some change. Op. VSM ready to push the issue right now. This is a tough head-to-head -head between him and Decent. He gets spotted and drops immediately. What nice a flash. Wow. It's heavy, just full of line, but... Regains control for moments until Henny peeks back in to find himself a decent trade. Now it's decent T looking to set his boy up as he entries up through lane. There is an extra assister now. PKLs come around from B. And in time, it's something you don't too frequently see on Inferno. But time's running thin. And they gotta move before everybody's in the spray right now. First spotted Henny. One for Ooh. one is decent T again is chalked up to the clutch. This time, PKL's gonna be a little closer than he's ready to be comfortable with or not. Even fully sticking it. Wow. Balls of steel to just hold the nerve behind the pillar. And PKL's now playing his game as he dances around. It won't be two for two. Instead, we go 50 50 as PKL won't allow a repeat of the clutch. And even regains the off for his troubles. Fluxo finally on the board. It only took him six rounds to get here. Finally lifting off there. Get it in a clutch. Get it in a 1v1 right there. Largely facilitated off of success out of the gates from Che. But finished off by PKL with a really important clutch. Breaks the deadlock for his squad. Retrieves that op again. Gives Evi another chance to try and get some work done here. But even still, even despite the man deficit, you can see how hard the fight is coming through from this... Uh, Imperial squad. Yeah. In these awkward situations, they do not relent. The one thing that's a little alarming is the last round, the way that setup fails in car. Because, like, right, Che hits the first shot. Cool. Right? That's that's something you can't entirely predict or anticipate. But the fact that he gets two there is really what puts Imperial in the dirt. The setup was there to counter it and everything, but it just failed. No other way around it. Now, Fluxo have taken liberties, walking straight through the apartments and straight past the ground.
across the decency's angle, a double needed, but the trade's better. And now it'll be no way in Henny fighting from the deficit in two on four. As you said, lack of trading in that last round here, flaring up again, but look how he continues to aggress forward here. Can he get anything oh extra? My no. God. He does go down. Very proactive here. And you know what? You do go down at least delivering an extra headshot. That's not the end of the world, but is it going to open up any avenues now? One less player in this man advantage. What is the reroute? What is the end goal here? I mean, right now it looks like Imperial show no signs of actually committing to anything. Bombs down and spawn. Yeah. I mean... This isn't impossible by a technicality for Imperial, but the fact is... The round is becoming less and less likely as the seconds tick on because you've got to go back and get that bomb. Whoa. Then you've got to eventually crack into one of these bomb sites, but they still haven't done the due diligence of actually doing. Time is their greatest enemy here. And even though Henny's low, it feels like that's second. With only 19 to go, I think no way is going to understand when to call it quits. As he sits back in Mexi. He has missed his opportunity of clutch. Gotta know when to fold them. No way. That was exactly. Want to go ahead and call it. So two in a row, and again, pretty good CT side proactivity, facilitating with the op as well. Zevi able to control some of the map alongside his riflers. And a little bit of unity comes through, but immediately we get to see and talk a little bit about the presence that uh, Zach can bring to this server here, this duo that has been building up some really exciting prospects out of South America. Zach and Vinny, I feel like, always play off of each other well. Zach has historically been very good at bringing new talent into the scene and delivering impact in that department as well. So, exciting to see the, the coach get involved here out of the gates. Yeah. It almost feels like Fluxo have finally started to change things around, and I like it. Again, we talked about needing to bring that op in before we saw some, like, legitimate shift of tempo from Fluxo, but now they seem a lot more confident. It's not like anything drastically changed in the game plan. I mean, we talked about them at the beginning of the game letting Imperial kind of be the ones to take the first step in initiative in a lot of these rounds. Wasn't really working. All of a sudden, they bring out the op. They feel a little more comfortable and confident. I think one big change, you know, very, very specifically that I noticed was a couple of rounds back where you have Zevi getting caught out by Phelps in a five on four. The the man advantage is now even. There's no map control around the board. But the difference here, Zevi's a lot more competent to just gun out, hold down his sight, hold down that map control, and not let Imperial encroach as much for free. That's really started to stunt them in their growth. And you could see them struggle around the map because of it. That last round, you couldn't really see them get good control over Car or Bracket because the entire time... They were taking fights on two separate planets. They weren't baiting on as much utility as they wanted to prior, and because there wasn't enough manpower in one end or the other, they couldn't set themselves up for proper anti-flashes, for, for denial of map control from Fluxo. So it's that one op, the relief of reliance on multiple players to be in the apartments in lane that started to tick up in the right direction for Fluxo. Yeah, and I, I think one thing that I, I've really liked out of this Imperial roster into, like, this year, the 2024, as opposed to, you know, prior to some of these uh, changes that they've recently implemented at, uh, when they've added DCT in no way, uh, is that the trading has been a lot more effective here. And, you know, when Flux are able to kind of pluck at that that strong suit that this team has on the T side, uh, you know, that that's kind of where they, they're going to need to succeed in that's where they're going to need to change the tides here on the ct side because as we've said uh if you want to build yourself a really good uh chance to pull this upset off i think delivering on the defense is going to be a, a pretty big task for flux considering uh the struggles that sometimes this uh this t side can bring to this team and the problem is you still have the rest of the half to go. Best case scenario, you're ending at 7-5. It still feels like you're going to want that pistol before you have any legitimate comfort on that offense. Again, you're not as, as Fluxo. You're not going into this game thinking, oh man, we suck on T-side. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to get stomped as soon as we switch halves and give up six rounds in when you're down to 5-0. But it, it still is lacking a foundation for that second half. Obviously, all has been good and well for these last two rounds. There's no taking that away from them, but there have still been some holes. In the first one they win, I give a lot of credit to Che, who finds two kills in a spot he should never be finding that much success in. The trade was pretty lackadaisical from, from Imperial when they went back in for the refrag on Banana. It, you know, the flash was played perfectly in anti. You didn't have anybody looking at it beyond the, I think, Henny, who was, you know, 
backed up by two separate players. The fact is, they've given a lot of success to the individuals. Even though it's 5-0, we can give credit to the opening duel statistic for Fluxo because in almost every one of these rounds, they've won it. We'll see if they can keep it that way. Or if this CT side has come to play here more for Fluxo. As we get back into another chance at a gun round. This might be the last chance, though. The money has dwindled after a couple of losses in a row. But they have just enough to bring back every tool, including a T side in the off here, putting a little more emphasis on gathering some success in that department. Look at this banana control, though, from Lukowski. He's diving down towards deep, and then there's just smoked off stairs to clear that. And this is going to put a lot of awkward pressure here on what this T side wants to do early. But it does cost you a lot of utility as well. Mm. It feels like they didn't take a massive advantage off of the isolations gathered by that util set. I mean, they didn't really try to go for a mid-fight. They didn't flash Zevi in for a peek, maybe. And you had an, a completely hanging pawn in Phelps who could not have any trade potential. But bottom line is, you still got Zevi holding down lane. You still got Che backing him up from Arch. Things are fine and well for Flux, so now... But that hole in your belts is going to be felt soon as Imperial continue to bleed you dry. It's a nice stack. Red properly executed a little poorly. Henny gets the opener on Zevi and finally takes an op duel. And he wins it. That's that op coming through. That's that extra element. Here for Imperial adding one to their arsenal as well. Keeping things contained on this A side. Henny oh, finds man. another entry. Two entries on this round. And it's just, again, one man to defend this A side here. Che has it all to do, all on his shoulders. Delivers one quick kill here, staying alive, but shooting all wow. of his ammo down range. How much more can he find? Nothing else. And is it enough even to encourage this retake? Yep. I don't think so. I mean, Imperial are going to come over with this round, right? But that doesn't mean we can't point out the, the problem that's still seemingly consistent for Imperial there. How does Che find two? I mean, he's playing out of his mind, right? We can give him that, but... First one, sure. Second one, little skeptical. It feels like there should be so much more presence in focusing on ensuring the trade comes through onto Che or denying any future success. Because imagine, he just hits a baller of a shot on decent right? Like, this is a two-on-two -two all of a sudden. They don't have a ton of utility, but now you're looking at a world where Fluxo may actually fathom the retake, and there's more of a, a, a way you lose this round. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Small little detail there. I feel like it was very delayed on the trade. Once they you realize you, you probably do have that last player on the site, you would think there would be more inspiration. But e either way, it's all, all that pain is nullified by the fact that Henny's just cracked open two quick entries, right? Bringing out that op for the first time on this T side and immediately gives so much success to his squad. Make sure that even if we see the, the best of rounds out of Che, it doesn't get out of control. It doesn't even get into contention. And those small details, they could cost you, but it didn't in this occasion. And it is right back to tough territory here. You got Che with an armor and a USB. Trying to maybe distract there. Hopefully you could pick up a gun. Something along those lines, but... Really just prioritizing setting up his rifler. This PKL looking to rest forward. Oh! Another chance for Henny. Oh my god. Oh my lord, he is taking a lot of damage. I even thought PKL was just going to run it forward, see if he can't take a kill out of it. Man, everything seems to be adding up well for Fluxo. Yeah, damage has come through onto Lakowski, but beyond that, look at the blows Imperial have taken in the opening stages. That's a lot. Of damage a lot of hesitation going to be kicking in when you have these sort of lower hp bars for some of these individuals so these rifles doing a lot of heavy lifting as well as the utility but pkl being hurt on the retreat it's a bit of an interesting situation here and chase still got a smoke we're talking 40 seconds left on the clock you still have a smoke if you get that down with 30 seconds it could be good but henny delivers another massive opener and it's just oh! And Hitty knocks PKL down too. He's taking the site by storm, by force. And it's going to be another save for Fluxo here. They've got no other option. Hitty is just breaking them down right now. I don't even know what you do about that second one, bro. That's just a scale issue. <laughs> like, really. It, I, I, that's just it, man. You didn't do anything wrong. 
it's not like you could have played better. Um. Yeah, <laughs> you just. <laughs> you think it's safe behind walls? You just got dumpstered, bro. Oh, oh you should have knifed him, coward. <laughs> yeah, that no seems chances. like something Henny's gonna laugh at. Oh yeah. Around. Right, like he's definitely giggling in that gamer chair. The last thing you want is a little evil laughter out of Henny. I don't know, man. I think the last thing I want is uh, lettuce in my <laughs> burger, but. <laughs> Turns out that might be what you get. It's unfortunate, really. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you dropped the 25 bar in free game. <laughs> I, get, I get one. <sighs> That's, I, I like that one, too. That was a good, good one. Burger King foot lettuce. I needed somebody to be on my side because I just know I'm gonna get flamed for it. I'll stick beside that one. Nice. We'll see if uh, Zevi can deliver here up against this this stampede of opping that we've seen. And this shot there. just barely gets away from the flames, but still kicking it in the server here, just on low HP as that Molly bounces right back. And the HEs are good. PKL's fight not quite up to snuff, but the Molly will at least be able to trade things out. It's something for Flux, though, but not a lot. And certainly nothing round saving, I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what? These nades are going everywhere, man. Everywhere but where they need to go. Bro. The VSM's about to be going to the graveyard. Oh my here god. Oh, wait, no, no way, right? No way, right? Vinny is just destroyed on that engagement. VSM turns around and blows the head off a of decent tee. So he's toast. Trade. It's so labored to come through, but oh, that's that's what Phelps was looking for with the sneak play through the arch smoke. So eventually they wrap their head around a confusing round, but <laughs> that was this was a whirlwind of emotions, man. <laughs> Just needs <laughs> we need to add some Looney Tunes effects to some of these <laughs> some of these util. We will see, uh, I mean, again, just another save here. It is whiplash. Like you said, it's a roller coaster of emotions as we see all of this flare up into what is a pretty, uh, weak ending. Trying to get that off. He gets spotted, and he won't let him save. He won't let him escape. This is... This is a stop, stop, he's already dead kind of moment. I mean, they got the off out of Zevi, so, like, maybe, but... The the big issue I'm seeing is the fact that we've seen a majority of this defense play out now, and, and that wasn't our main worry coming in. Like, our main worry was what this T-sided calling is going to present, and you're not, you're not building yourself a strong case, I, I'm just going to say. Yeah, this is a tough team, tough shot out of the gates from Zevi. Using his hero up the full effect a full effect here out of the gates. That's good news. Gets it on his second try. That that same aggressive duel. And look where he already has repositioned to. He's on the other side of the map. He's teleported towards B. That's quick movement here. Does he want more around this corner? That's a big question. I don't know. I'm still not sold. Fluxo, they've had so many opening picks go their way, but the difference here is how fluid Zevi's been. Dancing around the map like it's a dance floor, and doesn't seem Imperial all, all too ready for him to be here. Only two on the defense, I will say. But this is an angle you almost guarantee an off to at least find the time running low, but it shouldn't matter. As the shot rattles off, Imperial know they may have guessed wrong. Smoke comes in, so further time bought and delayed. Flux, so they haven't pulled the rotation off of that, assuming that Imperial are gonna get scared and run away, but that's not what this team's made of. Instead, they're made of a lot of utility and, well, it's a good put together execution into the sights. Evie said it's good for one, and there he finds it now, needing a trade in the back. Vinny, good bait for Henny's shot, puts them back into a three on three. Yeah, lovely work right there. Tough retake a hand. Might as well give it a go. You're gonna have a gun round in your last tier, but Henny just keeps on plucking them apart right now. Henny's having a monstrous half right now. I mean, even in some of these, like, in this round, he is the person that is entering. He's the person that's turning that corner first on B. I don't know if you noticed that, but when that flash came around the corner and that, that shot popped off from Zevi, it was Henny that was jumping around the corner with an AWP. It's absolutely wild. Mm-hmm. 
but it that's just seems uh, like anybody on Imperial is willing to do the entry work, right? Right, right. But when you got Henny playing like this right now, <laughs> well, why not keep it up? Kind of hard to stop him. I mean, you had a couple of uh, good rounds out of Zevi. You know, he was looking nice. He had a couple good rounds out of Che. Just feels like everything isn't necessarily coming together from Flux. So it, it doesn't really feel like they're getting out aimed, per se. It just feels like they have this really good start to a round. And the finish is a little poor. Oh my god, that's, that's insane. Vinny almost picks off Zevi for one HP, but instead it's Lukowski falling down his blood. Problems don't end there. So, so that's like you said, anyone willing to do it here, at least you got the answer back over towards this A side, but there's, or rather B, but there's that full belt of utility tossed over towards Banana. Vinny, or PSM rather, ready to try and stand in defense. You, you want to hold your own up against this pressure, you've got to, but just completely blasted, leveled out of it. And this time... Unfortunately, there isn't much of an option to save. You have to go for it. Well, just feeding the flames. Decent T. Henny ended off at the top of the scoreboard. And Imperial, they show why they came in as the favorites. And welcome back, everyone. A pretty fiery first half there out of the gates on Inferno for Imperial. Unfortunately, we got Fluxo fizzling out here in this best of one to kick us off. And not a lot of runway 
to really show up here in this map. We'll see if they put much of a fight back on this T side that we kind of walked into talking about how it could be a bit of a worry for them in this series. And this Whoa. might just mean everything. Man. Hey, you know what? I like Whoa. it. Whoa. You know I've always been a Zeus kind of guy. Come Hold on. on. Come on. People have been bringing this tech out more recently. Did you just call it tech? <laughs> yeah, this is Zeus tech. Oh, <laughs> wait, just they know, the, do they know he's they here? They just hit him with a decoy. Yeah, that's why they threw it. They got the sound cue. That's crazy. Are they going to boost over him? Come on. That's that's cowardice. Oh, no. Come on, man. Ah, oh, well. Things should go good. I say that. But what? Now he's been what? finding kills. What? Dude. I, <laughs> nah, bro. Wrap it up. Nah, it's oh over. God. It's over. It's over. Wrap it up, bro. Catch How you on map two. Live? How did he live? Oh, oh my god. No chance right there. Like you said, just pack it up. That is Vinny sending you to the grave right here on map number one. That that's that's a really, really tough round to mentally recover from. The, like the idea There's was no so way that sick setup from works. Block, so. Like it was so sick. <laughs> they throw a decoy, they get the kill on Henny because of it, they molly the corner. And then they just decide to miss they every missed, shot. They missed everything on it. Uh, to be fair, he's making his head pretty hard to hit. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. Vinny was m matrixing those bullets, but sometimes you, you know body shots will do, and they couldn't even get that downrange. Man, what a what a save! What a save from Vinny. We got a force buy. Kind of shows the signs of uh, desperation here that are sinking in. What is this? No, New, we got more tech out here. All right. This ain't even all that uncommon. Come on now. They gonna, they gonna get overwhelmed here? Yeah, it looks like they are, but uh. smoke comes through in the nick of time. Vinny won't walk out twice, or maybe you know what? Oh, he, wow. he just will. Yeah. Oh, that nade. Goodbye, Zevi. And uh. No way, bro. No, that don't do that. might that might put him to rest. Just. Walking through the smoke nonchalant is ever VSM. Nice kill onto him, but uh, I got really bad news for you. And that bad news is for- Wow, okay. He, he did not hit no way, but whatever, man. I mean, sure. Yeah, this is, uh... This is getting into that no respect territory. I mean, as you said, Vinny hopping into this one. Saying it was gonna be a breeze here. We weren't sure. It was going to look this easy for them here. It looks like they're having a good old time in the server. It looks like they're having a blast running through these smokes. Disrespecting the opposition right now. And this is, I mean, again, this is Fluxo's, like, bread and butter map right here for them. Yeah. This is, uh, is what look we at call the, better player alert. Look at the way they start this round as well. Look, how is he on 11 HP? If you ever wanted anyone to really lift you off on this T side, it was gonna be him. This is your Crazy. last chance on this T side, and he is on 11 HP. You you were literally talking about you know Lakowski being that guy for Fluxo when they need somebody to step up. Well, uh, I got some pretty bad news. Well, some nice utility. I mean, I'll, I'll give him that, but. Dude, just look at this. They're not scared at all. Phelps literally just walked through that smoke with a nade out, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I really don't know what else to say about it, man. This is just confidence out of Imperial. And the worst part is, right, Decenty can refresh this smoke as soon as it starts to fade. And they've got 47 seconds. Like, it feels Fluxo are really trying to force the issue to the A site. And as soon as that clock hits 35, if he throws the smoke down... The game's over, right? Like, this is all on a timer. Decent just doesn't want to put his gun away, and I think that's the big issue right now. Either that or he's saving it for a Molotov that's never really going to come. Crossfire could be broken apart, but with three now, four players sat on the other end of this wall, it seems like this should be under lock and key. Decent T, Henny, both the main contributors, and really everybody's to blame for this for Imperial. Everything going well, Zevi only kill back. It's a consolation prize for what is the dumpster fire of a map. Yeah, a little uh, little cosmetic kill there towards the tail end, but Imperial gonna be happy with their uh, absolute stomping right there. That rolls on through for what is 
right now the the top of the charts here is Fluxo being the the best team the most consistent team in ecl now being mm -hmm. blasted like this it really just goes to show how much of a, a performance imperial you know come back and bring to the table